to me, I think the most amazing time is to sit at the end uh, where you see the president of MIT, the vice president, the chancellor, the provost, and the dean, and I'm kind of on the side hearing um, all about all the good things that are happening. I think, as Gary can attest to this, I think they call this department a gem, and it is truly a gem in the institute. So um, that that is really the credit for, not just for uh, what is going on right now, but I think to many of you. People who have not seen what we've been doing, I'd like to share some of the things that have happened in the department. In the last 10 years, the department sponsored research jumped from 1 million to 12 million. We are in a $12 million a year sponsored research. So the department is changing rapidly in terms of the interest of our faculty, our students, and how we operate. And some of these are, some of these are very, very large projects across discipline, across schools, between us and engineering, sciences, really uh, a wonderful change. Uh, the other thing is, is kind of the work that we do overseas, and I think what, what we feel like a commitment, a long-term commitment to place. We have made uh, a strong effort to work in Colombia, in Mexico, uh, in China, as you know, for more than 30 years, uh, and of course places like New Orleans, Boston, we're trying to do this in Detroit. So pick some places and really create uh, a strong, lasting connection that have an impact. Uh, our faculty has changed tre also tremendously in the last uh, few years. We had both said losses, but we have renewed our faculty and, and we are very excited about the kind of future and the promise that they bring. Many of our faculty are leading major initiative at MIT. To give you an example, those of you who remember the second floor, one of the most dreadful classroom, maybe some of you have not been. That's how it looks today. Um, we have two sunset bars, which you see over there, uh, which are in building nine, and places where students work and look out. So uh, really great transformation. Uh, this is some of our, cla some of our classrooms, uh, just showing some of it in action. Um, we also continue to be very much involved in public service. It's not just research. Our commitment to place to community is extremely strong and we never lost it and will not. Just kind of things in general which we are facing, you know, the issues of pace of change, challenges and opportunities to share with you a little bit, you know, what's happening, how do we in, in the academy continue to address those issues versus what happens in the private sector. Um, how do we deal with the lack of diversity in the field, both in terms of the students that are coming in, the students, the alums that continue to, of course, uh, work in the field, which is part of our pipeline in terms of students, and then, of course, uh, our faculty. Uh, how do we continue to maintain the edge? We're nominated as the number one department this, this last summer. How do we continue that in terms of the ranking, if it's important, not important? and how we really start thinking about how we teach in our curriculum and changing it. And as, as Raphael himself said today, you know, the light is shining right now on DAS, um, both again internally and externally. So that's an opportunity to rethink and, and, and kind of readjust what we have done so far. Um, so those are also challenges. We are a small department. We have a lot of growing demands. More is being asked from our faculty. Well, how do we prioritize what's important, what's not? And how do we, again, take risks and initiatives uh, to change uh, what we're doing? Uh, we have great opportunity, as I said, increasing our new faculty. Um, and so we should listen a little bit to our more uh, younger junior faculty in terms of their, what they see the world uh, like in our education. How do we change our admission? We have a lot of exciting things we're going to try to do, uh, experiment, including this coming year about admission, about financial aid. Um, you know, again, look at uh, fellowships, loan forgiveness, um, sponsored research, sponsoring PhD, and so on. Um, so, you know, if you look at this, and some of you will maybe recognize, some of you not, but to think that we have 12 new faculty uh, that we have hired in the last five years, that's almost a third of our faculty. Most of these faculty that came here and joined us did not want to belong to one group. So if in, case, in, in fact, some of them said, I belong to all groups. Our faculty continue to be extremely productive in research too. 12 books in the last two years. Some of our faculty, including a bestseller at the corner from one of our PhD students, probably outselling all of, <laughs> all of us. And I think also what's amazing is the numbers of books coming from our alums. So just these are the assortment of books that coming out from, uh, both from students, but also from, um, from our uh, faculty and from our alums. And I think that lastly, the most important thing is, is, again, is the network that we make and the connection that we make to our alums. So I don't have the latest 
uh, Halloween party uh, pictures from the current class. Some of you might see yourself here. I'm not, not taking any uh, responsibility for the images, but I think the issue is and the kind of work, and it's not that these, uh, these titles relate to the people, but this is just an assortment of some of the things that uh, our alums are doing, and it's uh, and another thing that I'm very proud of, and, and thanks to, to Mary Jane, is that for the last few years, we had almost 99% success of placing all of our students in terms of jobs. So all of these things are good things. I can go on and on, but I want to just uh, you know, thank you for being here.